Okay, hi guys, hi good my people, hi good being forever 20. I hope you're all doing good. I'm also doing great. I hope you can see me. Okay, so um today as you can see over here, we are going to do tire tire edition. We're going to do five table, five coffee table, five ideas of coffee table using tires. And this is our first piece, guys. So if you're new here, I go by the name Kristen Nore and we all go by the name Team Forever 20. Uh, and uh, we do DIYs and home improvement that's uh, uh, interior designing and if this is the type of content you have been looking for consider subscribing show this girl some love by giving the video a thumbs up and uh, uh, share to your family and friends and also uh, leave a sweet comment down below you can as well tell us you are new here and that uh, we will welcome you with a cup of coffee <laughs> okay yeah uh, so without um, talking too much guys yeah, so this is the first piece we're going to work on, and as you can see, I have two tires. That means I'm going to work on two on both both of them. It's one it's a, it's one piece, but I'm actually going going to work on these two pieces. Okay, yeah. So, eh, hey, I forget my I'm forgetting my returning subscribers. If you are at Team Forever Twenty, you are an OG, and thank you so much for clicking back in my channel on this channel on our channel. It's actually ours. Yeah, thank you so much for clicking and um. Yeah, do the necessary you know liking uh sharing and also commenting okay so without wasting our time guys i just want to go direct to the point and these are the uh these are the main tools which we're going to use in this video guys these are the main tools these are screws see the screws i hope you can see them you can use any size these are the screws we have staple pins here they both work on my staple gun. So these are the staple pins. This is how they look. This. And we have the staple gun. We have a pair of scissors. And uh, we have this hammer because of uh, nailing the staple pins. At times they don't go deeper. So I prefer having a hammer to make sure I uh, they go deeper. And we have this saw for cutting our foam. And uh, we have a taping, a tape measure. And we have our drilling gun, which is already connected to the to electricity. And we also have uh, we have foam foam. Here, yeah, this is one inch. I'll be using two inch in uh, some videos. And we have more fabric, but this is the first fabric I'm going to use in this project. And this is a thrifted fabric. It's a second hand fabric, guys. It's not new. Yeah. So, and guys, we also have this this body. I don't know how you call it in your place this we have this and if you don't have the form you can still use this to cover whatever you want to cover uh i got this locally locally from just a nearby shop from where i live i'm coming from kenya by the way for those who don't know me i'm coming from kenya yeah uh, we have this uh, hot glue gun actually i love this hot glue it's old yes but it's wa it's working it's working so nice i love it i bought another one but i'm not using it it's just here but i love this one and we have some blue sticks yeah so guys those oh we also have this the videos because they make uh, my work look neat and uh beautiful okay yeah so i'll be using this in some of some uh some places in some videos yeah so that's it guys those are the requirements i'm trying by the way i'm trying uh, uh, my first video i posted i tried to uh include the materials in the description box and i'll do that as well oh. i'll be showing you that so let's get started okay so guys we have these two tires over here which do measure they measure 24 each i actually know the size they actually measure 24 that's two feet and we also have these two pieces of wood, which I didn't show you, but I'm actually showing you right now. It's among the requirements. It also measures two feet. Okay? And this is our top piece. This is our bottom piece. So, let's set that aside. As you can see, the tires are equal. I'm going to use my drilling gun. And uh, the screws. I want to try if I can screw directly. <laughs>
has worked. As you can see, Zinenu has given me. It has worked, guys, and this was the idea. So, guys, see, I've used the screws and they have worked perfectly. They are too. They are too tired. Then, if you can see the screws in here, yeah, we have the screws. Yeah, so that is our first step. That is our first step. Our second step, you need to take our top piece of wood and place it on top. Make sure it's in the middle. All sides are equal. When you place it, The, the, the mirrors will show, the screws will show all over and I don't want to see that. So, um, next uh, we are going to take this foam. I want to cut a small piece. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is the accident. But no one is injured, so don't worry. I want to cut this super small piece and put it here all through so that it will be equal. See? Yeah, so, so that. this is what I was saying that I'm going to use this as a contact glue. I'll be using this to attach the bigger form. So I have this small form which I'm going to put it here in between for so that this space won't be this way, the way you're seeing it. So I'm not going to use any contact glue, I'm just going to place it this way all around. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use this one inch foam, it's one inch. because we are going with the tufting so I need to to make some marks for that and uh, the height of this is uh, 17 from here to here is 17 and going all around is 88 so I'm going to divide this from here from the top to here I'm going to divide by 5 like from 3 8 then 13 and uh, going this way I'm going to divide it by 4 Okay, so let's do that with you. And remember guys, uh, if you if you're going ahead to try this, if you will try this, the double tire thing, make sure when you're marking you you check where the the joint is because it will be so hard for you when you are stapling. So with this is just on top here. So because at the middle we have nothing, okay? So make sure you you consider that when marking a I mean. So I'll be I'll be cutting all those. So from here what we're going to do is we're going to go at the middle of this line and then mark four. You see? So one piece will be starting from here like three, apple, 
and the other one will begin at five you see so we're going to have like two here and three on this side all through so the next one i'm just making sure that this is at the middle i'm just eyeballing but if you're not good at that please try to use uh, try to to take some measurements and make sure also from here to here is also fine from the top where the first mark is and the second one is that will help you know if it's the middle you see so use uh, our, our pair of scissors and uh, cut this we are cutting it in a circular way if you can see that we are cutting it in a this circular or round Worth it. So guys, this is the fabric we are going to use. It's a crafted fabric as usual. And uh, we have uh, marked all and cut out all the pieces, all the holes we needed. So we are going ahead with this fabric. Actually, I have added a piece here because it was kind of small. I tried to. Put it like this, make sure it's enough. See? Yeah, so uh, we are going to start. One, two, three, five. We didn't use a step of them. They are a step of And I want this to go. The top part, we're not going to step on because our, we have a mirror which is coming on top here. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to cut this fabric. Uh, I'll start attaching it first. I'll start attaching the cut here, then um, cut the excess fabric. And I'm applying it at, I'm, I'm applying it at the edge. So guys, I'm going to use these clear buttons to put on the 
so guys after we are done we are going to place our mirror i'm not going to attach this mirror because uh this table will be going somewhere so yeah we will have to uh pack them separately so let me just uh, do this for you guys but i'll use silicone glue to um, attach the mirror once the table arrives to the owner and uh, we use this clear uh, clear buttons so that at least it will pop and that's our final look let me put this uh, uh, flowers over here just for decoration and that's how the table looks looking so beautiful right I love it that's our final look guys the table is looking so pretty i love it tell me in the comment section how it has come out it looks so beautiful yeah so that's it that's our first piece so let's get to the second one guys hey this is our second piece and uh it's the second layer as you can see i'm changed in clothes uh but that isn't important so um we have a tire of, uh, again because um if you're watching this if you okay it's a tire edition tire edition for five ideas of coffee table using a tire and this is the second one guys so um i think the rest i'm not going to tell you the third one the fourth one the fifth one no i'm just telling you so this is the second one and i, I want to make like three of them today or four if possible so uh this also measures 24 all the tires are equal i picked all of them equal because uh, i wanted to make my work easy when it comes to material and all that so the piece of wood is 19 inches as you can see it has been written here it's 19 inches and i have two of these first this tire let this tire stay here and this is the other piece the second piece the small pieces of wood you see here it's because we want to put them like this and screw them because the reason and why is because at the end of the day you want to use this gold strap and you want to use the, the three inch one so I'm going to bring this one here. I need to have a three inch. Let me put this one down. Yeah, so after this, I need to have a three inch piece like this. See? So this covers a uh, three inches. So our next uh, thing is adding this this decor. This decor. If you can't get um, four, I think you can use this in some projects because most of you ask always ask me where to get the form. So if you, you can't get the form from your country, you can go ahead and use this. I'm just stapling here to join the two pieces where they meet. Here, I think this one is enough because I just I just want to hold the decor. Okay, so our next step is I'm going to use this fabric. This is the fabric I'm using. This one, and I'll be using this side. I've used this in a different project, so it's just a mini piece. I've cut it the same size as the decor, so I want to measure it and uh, stitch so that I can come and just cover it. Okay. 
guys, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand stitch this because it's so easy. It's just from here to here. Let me cut first, then show you what I'm saying. So this is what I'm saying. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can just stitch it. It's just a small piece. If you want to try this project, that is. You just stitch from here to here. But since I have a sewing machine, let me do that, then come to you guys, okay? stapling this both top and the bottom and what I want to do next is uh, I have this lining over here I want to cover the inside because our table will be going to have some storage okay so I have this lining over here which I'm just going to cut as on top and so let me cut it it's covered and when I place it here and uh, do this for you guys can you see it's covered right yeah so that was the idea that's what I wanted it to be so I'll be screen this Okay, so guys, uh, as you can see here, I have this piece of box and I have this, this is the reflective paper, uh, the gold reflective paper. The reason I want to have this today is because I want to cover this piece of box with this reflective paper, then cover it here. Why? Because uh, this my engraving sheet is not enough, like, it's not enough, it's not uh bring in the vibe which i wanted when i joined the two of them like this 
and I don't have a, just a complete piece. So I'll be changing this rather when I go to town, I'll get a piece which will be the same size for this and come uh, remove this, then place this one. Okay, yeah, so that's what I wanted to tell you before I continue. But this is an, engra an engraving sheet if you want to. Uh, this is the more durable and uh, I love this compared to this. It's only that I don't have the same size for now, but we'll have to work so that we finish this video today. This video, yeah. So, uh, what we do is It has some glue. You peel, you peel and stick. It's just easy. Peel and stick. So if you can't get that engraving sheet, you can still work on this. Actually, this is more cheaper than the than the engraving sheet. But the engraving sheet is durable compared to this. So let me cover my box. Guys, it's done, but it's not that smooth. It's not that smooth. Um, I'm not feeling it at all, at all. But uh, since we are just working on it now and we will change, let me just put it there and remove it. I I'll make sure I go to town as soon as possible because huh? this isn't giving at all. I'm used to the other one in a way that I don't use the reflective anymore. Maybe in some different project, but in such kind of a project, it's enough. But we yeah, are good. So that's how it's going to be. I'm not going to stick it all through. I'll just be uh, tapping, tapping the hot glue because I'll be removing it. So let me start. Uh, Where is the other joint? I need to start where the other joint is. Okay, here. Having both joints together, it's usually so good. So the other joint is here. We'll be starting from there. looking not too bad right but um we will change it we will change it guys we're going to change it yeah so that's how it's looking let me turn it mm. we still have our storage here in the inside look at that when i turn it looks good right let me know in the comment section but I know it will look more good with the other, with this one. Can you imagine having this? I know it will look more good because this is more smooth. Yeah, but nonetheless, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it very soon. Yeah, so let's move to our next step. Yeah, so guys, since we are done here, uh, what I want to do next is we have this piece of wood here this and uh, we have this marble paper So I want to cover this top with marble paper, but first before covering it um, I was trying to cover the edge you see to cover this part 
to see if it will cover smoothly and it's covering it so smoothly so i'll be doing this i'll cover this whole piece around then place the top for it to be very smooth with a smooth finish okay so i'll be doing that i'll be covering this because i'm cutting small pieces of marble then peel them and stick them then after that i'll come and show you when i'm covering the top okay so there is i'm done as you can see i'm done cutting it so i was trying to cut it so that we can have this only on this sides so i'm using this cutter to just cut this uh and even cut it from here to leave it and let it have a smooth surface so the other one will just come on top up to here so let me go around then come back to you as usual guys that's uh, our second design uh, looking all good look at that you know I'll change this I'll change this because I'm not feeling it at all but the table has turned out to be so beautiful beautiful yeah the marble effect on top it has added something to this table yeah so that's how it's looking and uh, let me show you another one guys i've added a clear mirror on top of the marble and look at that look at this beauty look at this beauty look at this actually i guess i was not supposed to fold this marble from here i was supposed to just cut it here the way you wanted to do it first but it's fine it's fine when some when someone wants this kind of a table i'll do it exactly that and that's our third piece from this is it our third or our fifth or our sixth i can't remember i've lost my count okay but, but that's how it's looking and it's all pretty tell me which one is your favorite because all these ideas you need to have one you have to you have to pick your favorite i myself i we don't know yet <laughs> because i love all of them all of them and that's how it's looking
this piece of wood which is supposed to come here at the bottom but since we will see it on this side i want you to also cover it with this gluey guys that's how our table is looking with the, some storage in here you can store things and we have this mirror which i'm going to place here it's looking beautiful right it's a coffee table with storage looking beautiful right guys can you see that okay let me show you closely guys look at that beauty look at that you all Look at that, looking so beautiful, right? I love it, I love it. And we have this tray here on top with some few decors. Let me show you the inside, how the inside looks. Oh my goodness, I don't want anything to drop. Okay, that's how the inside looks with some storage. Let me put it back slowly. Okay, finally back. That's how it's looking, so beautiful, right? I love it. I love it. Look at that. The fabric, the mirror, oh my goodness. It looks so beautiful, guys. Okay, so that's the first design, um, the first option rather. Let me show this. Let me show you the second one, okay? But that's how it looks, so beautiful. Guys, since I have this size, different sizes of mirror because I'm working on these tables, I decided to place this uh, bigger one on top. How does it look? Which one wins? The smaller one or this one? Let me know in the comment section. I feel it looks good as well. And it also shows how big the table is. Yeah, so... I just decided to do this so that I can show you before showing you the other design but that's it and we still have our storage in here remember yeah so you can decide to uh, you can decide any size of the mirror or the top piece you want to use if it's big small whichever size but that's how it looks guys welcome to another piece yeah I told you today I'm going to, sorry I'm going to work on some few pieces like I'm trying I want to try and work on but I think this is going to be the last one since I've run out of on some of the things like the staple pins so I think I'll just uh, use uh, like right now guys right now I'm using this nails this ones why because my tack nails, I don't have tack nails, I've not tack nails, sorry, I don't have uh, staple pins. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, it's working. So this is the fabric guys, I'm going to use this and i want to go and join it so that i can just come and uh dress it because i want to stitch here like i said on the other video if you don't have a sewing machine you can just hand stitch it's just a small piece from here to here yes 
look from here to here you can just hand stitch or using the hand sewing machine so let me do that very quick then come to you hey guys it's the next day yesterday I didn't finish uh, I left it here so let's continue from where we left okay so uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, take these pieces of wood uh, like this one here this piece of wood insert it in here like this or put it not insert put it in or place it here whichever one mm -hmm. like that because I don't want this to have that uh, um, that shape of a tire when it's done so that's why i'm adding the piece of wood and guys all these ideas i'm making you can as well make them using wood it's not a must for you to use tire and if you make an order of any of these uh tables uh be sure that it will come in uh it will come it will be have made with the wood not tire so if you want to make any order or if you want to purchase any, any of this you can get it made with wood very light wood so that even if you want it in your car be sure that it won't uh, be a lot of weight okay, fine. so as you know guys uh, my staple pins finished yesterday so they finished so i'm going to use this this tap nails they are half an inch tap nails I'm going to use those and this uh, hammer has a magnet on this side you pick the nails using the magnet because the nails are too small check on this side to make sure that it will also be enough yes it will Okay, let me tell you guys one thing. What I'm saying is these uh, pins, uh, I don't have pins, it's because these pins they have, uh, I ran out of these pins, but I have these ones. But these, they're kind of small. If you see the, let me show you. If you see this millimeter here, it's 0 0.7, and this one is 1.2 millimeters. And this staple gun uses this pin, is these pins. These ones, they're kind of small. So when you staple, they come out in two. So at times it refuses to come out and at times it uh, agrees to. So right now it has decided to work. That's why I have stopped using uh, that's why I have stopped using this because actually using this is much easier and faster compared to this. And I'll be using this uh, until it decides to not to work. But I'm praying it works so that we can finish these videos today because i have uh, one to go then we'll be done with the ideas yeah that's what i wanted to tell you okay you see it has refused okay So guys, uh, I have covered the bottom. This is the bottom. This is the bottom. I have covered it already. Uh, I'll, I'll add some legs, but I want to show you the first design. As usual, <laughs> if you have a bigger room, a, a bigger sitting room, this uh, first design, this design which I'm showing you right now, it will work perfect for you. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to mark the middle of this. Uh, table and uh, from here to here it's nine. Let me show you from here. You see, it's nine. So the middle of nine is 4.5, right? We're going to use a mat pen. Don't worry, it's going to be we're going to hide it. It's 4.5, right? Yeah, so I'll be marking that all around. We are going to use this. We are going to use this to 
to cover to place it at the middle at the middle of this so i'll use two because one hole is not enough it won't go up to the end and that's how it's going to be so So guys, this is the design I'm telling you, and I'm going to place this mirror here. I'm not going to attach it, but for the next uh, piece, I'll attach it. For the next uh, design which you want, I'll attach it permanently. Yeah, but uh, this is the first design, and uh, this goes well if you have a very big sitting room. So this can act as your centerpiece, and you have your dining table at the other side. Yeah, that's how it's looking, guys. How is it? Let me know in the comment section. So. I just wanted to show you this the first option if you have a big living room you can uh, put you can say to go with this and for those who have a small living room like us i'm going to add some legs so that it can it can be raised a little bit and i want to do that right now let me remove the mirror yeah so that's how it's going to look but that's how it looks it looks so beautiful right if you have a big living room this will work so perfectly for you yeah this design I love it. I love the details on the on the fabric. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, guys. Uh, let me know how my camera is doing the justice right now. Wow, I love this. I love this. I didn't know uh, the cream cream matches. <laughs> it kind of matches the uh, the flowers on top and uh, the fabric. Right, looks so perfect. Well, 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 okay. I love this. I love. Okay, let me know which one is your favorite because I can't even choose right now because I love all the pieces. Okay, so guys, uh, let me show you the other option which I was telling you, which we're going to add some legs here. Okay, I had a. Okay, this is the top. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me turn it. <clears throat> To the bottom side yeah so this is the bottom side and we are going to add some legs here here are the legs we are going to add them and before adding the legs i want to use this okay i'll put them here so that they can be seen because the other piece I, they were not seen yeah i think if they look at the inside like this it will be much better because the other piece i did them like this i had put them like this you know let me just try this and um this trick is i'll be holding them with uh, some glue then some glue the hot glue then um do what then then screw them it will be so easy for me yeah i think tell me guys which one do you feel do you feel or think it's the right way placing them facing this way okay they need to face each other i think yeah like this Placing them facing this way or this way, which one is the correct way? I don't know. Okay. I just loved them for this project. That's why I picked them. And um, yeah, let me just place them like this because the other table I had placed them looking uh, facing forward. Yeah, I think it works. And um, I'm going to use I'm going to use some some glue to to attach them before before I screw. Okay, just some little. Uh, here and there before I screw them they won't move this helps uh, the legs not to move
this is what I'm talking about. I'm not cutting deep. I'm not cutting that deep because this is a two and a half form. So I'm just cutting like that. just one. You see? Yeah, this deep. Okay. So this is my first mark, my second mark. I have marked all through, and I'll just be going that way from top to the bottom. This way, guys. This way. Don't cut too deep. Make sure you place your blade uh, straight. See? So I'm going to remove this. So the point of having this, I wanted, I, I wanted it to be like this. You see, you see the line. The line was going to help me, but since uh, we don't have, I, I, I'm not going to do to repeat this. Since I'm not going to do this, I'm just going to cut. I'll still get whatever I want to get. we're going to use this is a thrifted fabric yeah i got it uh, from a second hand shop it was a curtain and uh, this is what we are going to use okay around making this and now we are going to work on our last piece we have this this open space over here so what we're going to do is uh do whatever i had told you from the beginning and i'm going to trim this so that we just have a small piece going in there Yeah, so since uh, this one is here missing, so with this one, we are going to first put this inside. We are going to tuck this in like this and bring this bigger piece. And uh, this is where our line is, right? So we're going to cut it somewhere here so that you can get something to tuck also inside. And I'm just eyeballing that coming up to here. Yeah. 
we have our men here. Yeah, so we are going to remove this piece. And we are taking this piece and also you're going to tuck it here, but we are folding the raw part so that it will, it can't be seen. See? So if you don't have a sewing machine, don't worry about that. You can just do this. You see? Yeah, you can just do that. This one is because of the joint piece of a uh, form that so you can see it's coming, it's behaving like this, but we are going to fix it right now. Uh when we staple the fabric, everything will be okay, you see? Yeah, everything will be okay. So that's it, guys. And our tire is full covered. Full covered, full covered. Yeah, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start stapling and we're going to start on top, bottom, top, bottom, bot top, bottom. Yeah, one after the other. That will make our work easier, okay? Yeah, and we're going to use this staple gun. Guys, we're going to use this staple gun. So let's start here. And uh, what you're going to avoid are the frills. Uh, yeah, this, uh, what are they called? The frames. Yeah. So, this is what we do. Because this is what we wanted, this design. Stepping from this side, I think it will be easier.
that's how it's supposed to look exactly, guys. Okay, so guys, we continue from where we left. Uh, this is the bottom part of the tire. So I have this piece of fabric. I'm going to attach it here and staple it very fast just to cover this bottom part here. pieces which measure 19 inches there are two of them two and the one is here so i'll be placing this in here like this i'm going to use big screws like this Two inch screws uh, focus yeah we need to use these screws they're big two inch to try and screw I'm going to use my drilling gun To use this one let me show you i wanted to use this but i don't have the smaller piece but i think i need to cut it or something what does it look guys it looks beautiful yeah or i use this one it also hides so when the paint is hiding this piece of wood over here so let me okay guys as i was contemplating i've decided to use this and uh, my hot glue was heating at that time so i'm going to use this this one here because it fits so well so there is no need of cutting the the other one because it's i can't cut it as smooth as the way it is yeah so this is what i'm going to use their pieces but that's we're going to work with that so So guys, that's how it looks, and you can see it. Obviously, that's how it looks. Um, I will, I will, uh, I will paint it black on top here. Then uh, place the mirror. Okay. Uh, the final, the final. I'm going to to take it for you tomorrow, guys, because it's a, uh, it's late, and I want that natural light. Plus, yeah. I want that natural light, not the ring light, light. Yeah, so I'll be showing you guys tomorrow how the final look looks. But I'll be painting the top black, then place the mirror on top. And guys, this is our final look. That's how our beautiful coffee table looks like. We have this, uh, this uh, few decals on top here. This uh, glass tray and just for decoration, mirror, mirror, a real mirror. Yeah, with this beautiful gold strap. Yeah, so 
that's how it looks look at that look at the details okay guys i'll change this this gold strap and uh use something a bit bigger so that it can also cover the mirror yeah but for now uh i'm posting for you guys the way it is but i'm going to do that later because i can see even you can see the wood in here yeah but i'll be changing that but that's how our coffee table is looking all pretty beautiful and pretty using attire i hope you like this video you enjoy it uh, remember to subscribe like and share last piece finally finally yeah so this is our last piece and guys uh, i've just been opening the other because i only i'm working with three tires so if i'm done with one project i open everything and i use the same uh material like the wood i know you have seen the wood uh the one which has marble uh, yeah so i have got this uh i have got this ring and i removed the inner piece but it's kind of small and i have used my jigsaw to cut this um to cut this piece this circular pieces i even cut them with the jigsaw let me show you let me bring it here and show you she looks uh, i'm just showing you so that to avoid the questions yeah so this is the machine guys this one here it's the one which i'm using to cut the the circles this machine right here so that was that i just wanted to show you that so that you avoid the questions uh, and as I told you the inner circle is a bit small because our design needs that okay so as you can also see the tire it's the one I've, used, I've already used it in a previous uh, in one of the tables so that's why you can see all this counter glow but that isn't important because we're still going to work on it and since it's the final one it's going to remain like that until someone um, decides to get it or to purchase it so and i have a form i have cut my form ready here it is here it is it's a one inch of form it's one inch form and um it's 12 inches from down to here it's a bit high because uh the back i want it this way at the bottom part not the back the bottom i want the form to come all the way up to here that's why uh it's kind of it's more than the tire the height of the tire and uh just like the first design or the second design i don't know when i'm going to less that a video where i'm going to place it if it's the first the second the third i don't know but uh i'm going to repeat the same thing where the, oh okay i have this one because i was measuring this Oh, I want to to divide all this foam so that I can have those lines and I'm going to divide them by according to the size of the tire. This foam goes all around the tire. Let me just show you. It goes all the way around. You see? All the way around like this. Okay. I feel it's even bigger. But it goes all the way around like this, so I'm going to divide it uh, in pieces. Okay, I thought it's uh, kind of big. Let me fix one side, but let me reduce it. Okay, I want to start from this side. And I'm dividing it uh, seven, 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 seven each. Okay. This is so because I'll use it right now to cut uh, the foam. Just like I said, like the first design, I'll be cutting it this way. Very little because this one, the foam is smaller than the than the other one. So I'll be doing that all through. Let me show you the next one. I'm done cutting, uh, marking the foam, not cutting, marking, and I am using this to apply on the tire. I have used it already to apply on the tire so that I can place 
the foam. But first, I want you to have this one on top so that it will guide me. Uh, then uh, bring in the foam. Okay, I don't know if it's going to guide me really. The way I want to because I want I wanted the foam to, to begin from here, you see? From here. I don't know how I'm going to manage that. Again, guys, coming to you again with this material, this cute material. It's a, I told you it's a threaded. It was a curtain, yeah. This is how it looks, it's so big. I had uh, two of these. So, what we're going to do, I have this piece of wood. It's actually bigger than the one which was here. This is uh, 22 inches. It has a diameter of 22 inches and it's going to be at the bottom. Like this, because we're going to have some legs. So, we must uh, have something at... Uh, yeah, at the bottom. Okay, I haven't cut all through the pieces, but I'll be cutting this. Then insert the fabric in between. Let me show you that. Okay, I have cut here already, but this is what I'm going to do. Just like the other video. You see? I think here I'll be cutting deeper, like all the road to the tire, here at the middle. Like that, then have this tie, this uh, fabric, like this. We need a, a bigger fabric at the top as well, so I must play well with the fabric. To avoid any pin which will inconvenient us okay so if it's this just like the other one we're just going to insert it this way since this comes here this is enough you see so we want to do that I think I'll just be stately as I go to make uh, my work easy and also just to work once. I'm going to post all the videos separately from tomorrow. So if you haven't understand any and you want to try that one, check them out from tomorrow. I'll be posting one by one. That's why I was not even talking to. I decided just to go off work on the rest of the pieces because I couldn't talk to you because it's raining. Blessings, right? Yeah, so I'm working on the last piece, and here it's where our two pieces are joining. You know, uh, if you remember that I haven't sealed this piece, and uh, this is our last piece. So I'm stapling the first one first, then um, I staple the second one.
full like I told you the pins uh, they are not for this paper so they are not holding that much that well I need to uh, use this hammer so that they can hold it <coughs> This one is supposed to come here. I don't know if you can see. It's supposed to come here, but I still want to do something on it, then put it there. But it, how does it look? Okay, I'm here behind here. It still looks good with the marble effect, but you know, the idea wasn't leaving it like this. So let me do whatever I was supposed to do then. Uh, let me show you because I'm working with you guys, right? Let me show you what we are doing next with this piece. I think I'm going to cover in here, in here, so that uh, this can work as a storage. Yeah, just cover it in here. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to use this one inch form to put it here. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to mark it. That's it. I've covered it with a one inch form. So I'm going to mark uh, the what? I want to have some in this so I don't know if I should just eyeball or uh, make sure it's in the middle imagine I just eyeballed the center and it's actually the center because this is 18 and the middle is 9 it's supposed to be 9 so the mark one here I'm supposed to have one here and another one here yeah I think that's what I'm going to do Because I'm going to use that. So, guys, I'm done and I'm using the same fabric. I think it's on top. Don't have enough to go there to go that side as well. And I'm just going to use the staples because uh, the wood is thick. A little thick, not that thick. I hope they hold. So I'm going to use this clear button to put them here with my cotton. So guys, finally we are done and this is our top and we have our storage in here which is well covered and our lid as well. We are covering that and we are placing this uh, mirror, this clear mirror on top so that it won't get dirty easily whenever someone uses it. Yeah, but uh, you can as well store, you just pull it like this, open open it up and store your things inside there but that's how it looks uh, look at that look at that beard look at that beard let me let me capture it oh let me put uh place some decos here okay here's the same deco the same tray this is what we currently have and that's it what a beauty guys okay i didn't know which one was my favorite but i guess the last piece one 
wow looking so beautiful the legs are down there i decided to change them to face forward but they still look good look at that look at the details you all I love it i love it so much so let me let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite piece so far i know you'll be confused because we have so many and we have we all have different tastes so let me just know which one is your favorite and don't forget to like share comment and um subscribe if you haven't see you on the next one